Gamers, it's officially here. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 has officially released to the Steam page. If you want to go snag it up, it's 20 bucks, which is a really good price, I think, for all of the content you get in this game. Uh, straight up, huge thank you to the developers for giving me this game early access and uh, for allowing me to record all these videos before the game even came out. Absolute chads over there. Love those guys. Thank you so much. Seriously, go support their game. They deserve it. But with the official release happening today, they also added in brand new German soldiers. Yeah, jawohl, the Wehrmacht is here. So I thought we'd do a big video with the Germans invading a American-held city here. So this is the city of Troy map, uh, and the Americans are defending the city. They've got a small excursion of soldiers, 20,000 strong, that are actually attacking uh, the Germans here, trying to hold them off, maybe trying to set up defenses and buy some time in the city. Uh, and they've got Shermans too. That's the big advantage that the Americans have over the Germans, because there are three million Germans here, uh, but the Americans are the only ones with any kind of actual tank power on the battlefield because the Germans did not get any Tiger tanks in the update. I really hope they add that in the future. I also really hope they add uh, modern soldiers and like M1 Abrams and stuff like that. That would be so unbelievably fun. I would really, really love that. Uh, but either way, the Germans are here uh, attacking. They do have, uh, I believe those are Car 98Ks. Wait, let's get a close up on these Germans again since they're brand new. Um, yeah, those are Car 98Ks, I believe. And they are coming forward. They do have better range than a lot of the American weapons. Actually, all of the American weapons. The Americans only have SMG troopers and shotgunners. So the Car 98Ks outrange the Americans by a lot. Also, it looks like all of the Shermans died already. I didn't even realize the Shermans don't leave behind any sort of a body or anything like that. They're just gone when they die. They need a death animation, bro. Bruh. So... All those tanks are gone already over that way, um, and the Germans are at a massive advantage because of that range, so therefore, uh, the Americans holding the interior of the city is going to be helpful, because if we go over to the city here, uh, we can see, first of all, that there's a huge outside defense here with uh, more Shermans and things like that, uh, but then there's also, wow, it's laggy in the city, hold up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, whoa! Jeez Louise. Okay, it gets a little bit laggy towards the inside of the city here. That's bizarre. We'll just face this way. Um, but as you can see, there are a ton of Americans inside the city itself defending. And basically what's going to happen is these are going to turn into choke points where the Germans walk around the wall here and they just get blasted by American SMGs. Or at least that's the plan. Hopefully that works out for the American soldiers. But for now, the uh, sort of hold off on the outside here is still underway. Hopefully these American soldiers can get a few more licks in before they all end up inevitably going down here uh, to the might of the German army. But the Germans already have 30,000 kills and the Americans only have 2,300. So those Shermans didn't even make that much of an impact. Yikes. Yeah, this, this could be way harder for the Americans than I first anticipated, but now the Germans are going to begin marching forward against the city here. If you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit the like button means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 500k. Hopefully we'll hit it by the end of 2022. And comment down below if you guys want me to still do some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 videos, even though the game has already come out. Let me know. I'm curious to see if you guys would still be interested. All right, here we go. The first of the Germans making it up to the walls here, and they're already getting hit pretty hard by incoming Sherman shots. That's very, very good to see right there. Hopefully the, uh, the Shermans can do a little bit more than they did last time. Oh, they also added cinematic mode to the game. There we go. That's something that uh, a lot of content creators were looking for in this game that was originally an Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 1, but didn't make it into the alpha of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, but it looks like it has now with the early access Steam release. So that is beautiful right there. Um, looks like we could actually see the whole battle map uh, and get nice cinematic shots uh, without having to have... Uh, the text over it showing the kills and things like that and you can just press C to uh, reenact the kills right there and get those back up. Either way, it does look like the Americans are now starting to get more kills than the Germans uh, at this point in the battle, which is good. They definitely needed that after the disaster that was uh, that initial assault there. Uh, tons of American soldiers firing out with their SMGs, their Thompsons, uh, and the tanks also managing to fire out a good bit too. However, it really is a bit of a trickle in of Germans right now. There's not a ton of them coming forward all at once here. Uh, so it's no surprise that
surprised that the Americans are really able to do it. It does look like more Germans are coming around the side over here too though, and these guys are getting a lot of shots off here. Shermans are firing at them, but they're pretty scattered, so it's hard to get beefy shots going against these guys. Oh, there's some shooting up at the walls here too. Are there Americans up here? Are they able to, they're able to shoot through the wall here? Bruh! They got x-ray vision going. They're using cheats. They're using hacks. What's up with that, dude? Not cool, bro. Not cool to use cheats and hacks in this game. No siree. <laughs> Either way, Americans are holding this out. Why don't we go ahead and do the first of our uh, sort of uh, fast motion video time lapses right now. We'll go ahead and get a nice view here going uh, and watch the, uh, the American defense of the city walls here. Uh, and hopefully they can hold out for a good chunk of time. Not totally sure uh, how long they will hold out, but hopefully for a good chunk of time here because they definitely knew, do need to make a bit of a comeback. Uh, so we'll get right on into that here. All right, the Germans seem to have finally gotten a bit of a foothold here on this assault. Uh, they've gotten 41,000 kills. The U.S. has only gotten 15,000 kills, but I'm not too worried for the U.S. as of yet. I, I think we're still good uh, because we've got all of these interior defenses. I think the interior defenses are going to save the day uh, because they're going to be close range. They're going to be extremely tough to get through uh, for the Germans. Unless the Germans keep on doing this stupid thing where they shoot through the walls. Remember, this is still an alpha. But please stop doing this. You're going to ruin the entire theory of the battle, uh, but we're just going to have to see how this plays out. Um, again, I still think the U.S. has a solid shot here. They just need to bunker down, and they need to get it done. So I just realized that the Germans are actually running a flank maneuver here on the laggy part of the map. Thanks, Germans, for making this a good viewing experience. Look at the lag. Uh, so we're getting our first taste of this, uh, you know, modern warfare here. Uh, honestly, they're actually just catching the Americans in the flank and uh, dicing them down. The Americans aren't even firing back. This battle is <laughs> not working. Oh god, they're doing the same over here! Oh jeez! Oh no. Okay, at least these Americans are firing back. That's a relief. Good, good. Um, hopefully they can do something. Are the Germans just firing through the walls? They might be. Well, these guys are still alive, so maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Okay, that's good. <laughs> guys, I might have wildly overestimated how good a defense in this game will be. Might have wildly overestimated this, because right now the Americans are not doing so hot. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we are back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, but something has changed. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 is now officially live on Steam, so if you want to go head over there and check it out and snag yourself a copy, uh, you could do so. And it is super fun. I just highly recommend it. Huge thank you to the devs for giving me the game uh, to play early access. Uh, but even if I wasn't given the game, I would still highly recommend it. It's so unbelievably fun. But with the release of the game, we do have the release of some new units, including the German army here. They have released base the Max Soldiers with car 98Ks. So we have a million of them here and they are attacking a US held city. So we have a small force of US soldiers sort of coming out here and, and just attacking the Germans for fun. Oh, by the way, they also added cinematic mode, which is really, really nice. Good for taking thumbnails and stuff like that. Uh, but either way, we do have a small force of U.S. soldiers and Shermans just attacking right off the bat here for fun um, to soften up the Germans maybe a little bit. But then the main U.S. force is inside the city here with about 100,000 soldiers. And they've got Shermans in there as well. So one main advantage the U.S. has against the Germans is the fact that they have Shermans. And on top of that, I have a hunch that this type of urban warfare here inside of a city will be very very beneficial to the u.s soldiers against the germans because of course they're going to be able to create choke points hide behind cover etc etc things that the germans simply aren't able to do 
Now, there is one thing you might have noticed from the very beginning of this battle, and that's that the US soldiers had to get pretty close to the Germans to actually get any kills. And that's a massive downside. The range of the Car 98K is way longer than anything the US soldiers have, except for the Shermans, which can match it. Um, oh, that Sherman just poofed into dust right there. Very nice. <laughs> uh, so essentially, the Germans can outrange any of the American guns, which is why having them inside the city where the Germans have to get close to shoot them is a major bonus for the American soldiers here. Uh, but the Americans do have some machine guns which have a higher fire rate. So once the Germans do get closer inside of the city with those choke points, my theory is that they will get super damaged by the Americans. They will be down by a lot due to the Americans having that advantage there. That's why the Americans are so outnumbered here to try and make the battle a little bit more fair. And right now, the Germans have lost 80,000 soldiers. It says that the Americans have only killed 18,000 of them, but remember that Sherman kills don't always count on the board. So the Germans are down to 921,000 soldiers of their starting 1 million here, and the US has lost just under 2,000 soldiers themselves. So guys, if you enjoy this battle, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit two, uh, sorry, 500k by the end of 2022. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 videos in the future, even though the game has already come out. Uh, you know, if you guys are still interested in seeing this kind of content on the channel, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it. I've been having a blast in this game. And uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Either way, the Germans have basically exterminated these Americans here. And now they're moving on to the city. All right, here we go. Germans about to make it to the American lines. The other Shermans already managing to fire out and kill a solid number of them with their high explosive shells right there. So that's a beautiful thing. B E A, beautiful baby. So there's still one line of Shermans here. And then there's another larger line of Shermans just immediately inside the city here. By the way, it gets a little laggy when you look this way in the city. Oh, it's not doing it anymore. Well, that's good. Okay. I don't know why that is, uh, but remember, this game is still in an alpha state, um, or rather, now it's in an early access state, I believe. So there's probably still some bugs and glitches in the game. You know, go easy on the dev team. They're a small team, and they're doing awesome things here. Uh, you know, you gotta, gotta give them some slack for such a beautiful and monstrous game that this is. Oop, getting a call. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, one second, boys. Be right back. Okay, naturally it was a spam caller, but it's fine. We were in slow-mo that whole time, so basically nothing happened. Either way, the Germans are coming up here. They're getting pretty heavily shelled, and they're also trickling in, which means that the Americans probably aren't getting crazy amounts of kills here, but simultaneously the Germans aren't really in a state right here where they're going to be able to make a massive push forward uh, to cripple the American lines. Uh, you can see that the Shermans actually do bleed in this game, which is kind of funny, uh, but that's sort of a way that you can see how damaged they are. The ones in the back here, no blood at all. The ones in the front, getting pretty bloody, so they might be dying fairly soon. Um, can we actually go ahead and do our uh, first one of these long time shift, uh, you know, fast motion, what's it called, a time lapse, a time lapse, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's do a time lapse right here, uh, I know some people enjoy them, I'll try and make them quick though so they're not too long, uh, but yeah, let's do a little time lapse of the front gates here being sieged by the German army. All right, the Germans blasted through that front line, uh, but it did take them a while and a lot of troopers. They're almost down 200,000 soldiers now, and uh, the Americans are only down 33,000, uh, so definitely a bit of a ratio right there. Looks like the Germans are, are shooting through the walls here and actually getting kills on the other side. Irish, a little bit of an error. There needs to be a hitbox there, I would definitely say. Um, oh, we've also got flanking humans over here. Oh, there's another entrance over this way. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so maybe the street warfare is not going to go so well for the Americans. I didn't realize that there was flanking positions. Um, I mean, I guess it will sort of still work the same with all the choke points, but uh, definitely opening up a second alleyway right there is not super helpful. Is there another entrance over here? There is. I didn't even realize. Um, however, there's no Germans over here, so that's good. Okay, as long as the Germans don't realize there's another entrance, might still be okay for the U.S. Army right now. Uh, are these Shermans firing at all, by the way? 
not really, uh, they're moving, but I'm not really seeing any fire go out. Um, so those things are still going to be a good backup utensil for the United States uh, at some point during this battle as well, which is very good. Front gates are still holding uh, fairly decently, but the Germans are getting nice and close now and able to wipe out a lot more of those troopers. It is just like a, a bloody red tide over here, though. Ooh, look at all these bodies here. Dang! Okay, the U.S. definitely did a number on them. Um, but yeah, there's still a long way to go here. I think it's anyone's game. I think the U.S. is definitely outmatching the Germans at the moment. Uh, but the Germans are definitely in a position where they could still win this thing because of the, the size of their army they've still got going for them. Okay, actually, the Germans have now lost entire half of their force here, which is kind of crazy. They're just stalling out right now at the uh, gates here. A lot of them are focusing on firing through the gates, which is definitely a bit of a glitch and not, <laughs> not working at all for them. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of them are coming around the flanks over here, and actually, my prediction has sort of been right despite the Germans outnumbering the Americans by so much the Americans have these beautiful angles within the city that they're able to hit these guys with uh, so a lot of these Germans are getting shredded by these angles which is just so dope uh, so they're getting destroyed over here uh, and additionally still no one flanking on this side over here so that's probably good for the Americans uh, and the main concentrated force over here there's a lot of them trying to glitch their way through so I think what we are going to do here is order these guys to actually go and we're gonna have the move uh, in through the flank right there and then these guys back here who are also just trying to shoot through the walls we'll have them also just like move up this way instead um, so they're not doing that just because it's clearly a glitch and uh, we don't want them doing that so hopefully more of these guys move out and uh, actually start attacking instead of just shooting a wall and accomplishing nothing because that is definitely nerfing the German army by quite a bit oh it looks like there's a bunch right here doing the exact same thing why do you do this it is silly do this instead there we go okay cool hopefully that works uh, but for now I mean the Americans here are doing beautiful. Look, we got a rooftop Sherman! The Sniper Sherman. A rare breed of Sherman, but absolutely devastating against the enemy. <laughs> and actually, the main gates here just holding beautifully. I don't know what it is with these guys right here. Maybe there's like a dip in the ground, so they're really hard to hit. But for some reason, this little pack of soldiers doing amazing defending. Beautiful. Right now, uh, the Americans still have 69,000 soldiers, and the Germans have 480,000 soldiers. All right, so the mass migration of Germans that we did a little while ago seems to be somewhat working. We do have a lot more Germans attacking uh, throughout the city here, and you can see, actually see the body pileup is getting to be pretty major. The Americans tearing them down with the combination of choke points and SMGs. Uh, so we just have absolute domination by some of these American soldiers right now, just destroying these guys. Look at these body piles. Absolute brutality, man. And some of the Shermans have been pivoting and firing at them, too, from over here. We got the rooftop Shermans doing their work, doing amazing. And the front lines here, still the Germans are being held at bay. There's one of the markers for trying to get the Sh <laughs> Germans to move. I almost said Shermans right there. Yeah, they're still getting held at bay uh, by just a lot of tanks and uh, just rapid fire Americans right now. And the problem is this little hill is really preventing the Germans from utilizing their one advantage here, which is their ranged weapons. So that is a definite bummer for the Germans and a big pro for the Americans. The Germans are about to lose, uh, or sorry, about to only have 400,000 soldiers remaining. The Americans still have 64,000 soldiers remaining. We're actually getting a bit of a mass cas over here for the American soldiers, particularly the ones that don't have any buildings for cover here. Uh, so that's definitely no bueno taco right there for the Americans. Uh, but the Germans right over here uh, actually amassing a lot of soldiers here and getting up high, going above the Americans, gaining the high ground and uh, firing downwards with the K-98Ks. Jawohl! Jawohl! Uh, also over here doing just about the same thing and the high ground that they're taking is actually the dead bodies of their comrades. Oh no! 
Uh, so the Germans are making a little bit more headway here for sure, uh, but at great expenses. They're almost at 350,000 soldiers remaining. They've only almost lost two-thirds of their total troops. Um, I also tried to order these guys more forward again, and it finally seems to actually be working here. Uh, they're finally not shooting at the walls or anything like that. So we do have a bloody Ura charge going on right now with these German soldiers, at, and they're stopping to fire every so often here uh, to make sure that they're still pressuring the Americans. But even with all of that, they are just getting so bloodied by the Shermans and the American machine gun fire here uh, that it's just mass casualties all throughout this area. It's so brutal, dude. Bro, the entire center line is almost completely destroyed for the Germans. They're surviving off of a few troopers back here trying to snipe out some Americans right now. But these Shermans, man, back here, the other two lines of Shermans that were up here really didn't do too much, but these Shermans, man, destroyed. Wait, what is this? What? What am I seeing? Bro, there are all these Germans back here. There's like a... This is where the rest of the German army is. What, what are they doing back here? Excuse me? What is going on? I was wondering where the other 300,000 Germans were and apparently they're all over here. What were they doing over here though? What the heck? Oh. Apparently I put a bunch of American soldiers on this bridge too and then proceeded to completely forget about them. And it looks as though that's what these Germans were doing. And apparently that took them a real long time to kill all of those guys. And now they're crossing over this way and they're going to go through this gate here. I completely missed this entire event. There's also a ton of them diving into the water here. Like, just diving in and dying. <laughs> what are they? The same is happening over here and they're making a bridge out of dead bodies. Yep. That's what's happening. Why, you might ask? I don't know. There's a, there's an actual bridge over there that you took. There's an actual bridge over there that you took. You took that whole thing. But you choose to do this. Uh, the Kaiser will be furious. Uh, sorry, not the Kaiser. That'd be World War One. The Führer will be furious. At least there's some of the Third Reich over here, uh, going by Zephyr's wishes. Uh, actually, quite a number. I'd say probably like 50,000 German soldiers still fighting over here. Uh, and they've finally managed to like hold out. Hold out to a pace uh, where they're actually taking down Americans uh, pretty steadily. Still, there's a lot of Americans here, but, um, you know, at least they've established a bit of a presence over here. Uh, we'll see what happens with these dinguses over this way. Oh, look! They finally completed their land bridge, so now they're going to trickle into the heckscape over here that is uh, a bunch of American just having target practice. Nice! And then over this way, we've got now a trickle-in flank of uh, some German soldiers, and they're firing out, and actually, looks like the Americans aren't even reacting to them. Literally, Americans are getting shot in the back, and the, the Germans are just free to do so. The, the Americans are not reacting in the slightest, so this might be a very effective flank. <laughs> what is happening? The Germans are now at a quarter of their force. Uh, we do have a steady stream now, sort of moving up the center area over here. The problem is actually the pile of bodies is working better for the Americans than it is for the Germans. Um, basically, it's blocking the Germans uh, from sight of the Americans until they crest over the hill. And by the time they crest over the hill, they don't have time to get a shot off and they get absolutely obliterated by the Americans. So they're not able to utilize their range advantage in the slightest. And remember, these aren't the smartest Germans. These are the Germans who decided to uh, make a body bridge over here, which they are continuing to utilize, by the way. Um, instead of using the other bridge that's right here, in fact, there's two other bridges right here. And look at this, they're doing it again. There's a bridge to your left. Oh my god. Okay, I can't. I can't. Uh, let's see how the flanker dankers are doing over this way. Uh, they might be cutting down some Americans. Um, and they are, in fact. But the Americans finally realized they were getting flanked. 
and a number of them are firing at them, although there's still a number of them just chilling and not doing anything, which is kind of hilarious. So uh, the Germans are managing to get in there and, and get some shots off and things like that, but the Americans are finally responding to that, as they should, and uh, chopping down some of these Germans as well. But I do say uh, the Germans are having a pretty big impact on this flank right here. Uh, right now, the Germans have gotten 101,000 kills on the Americans um, out of the 100 and... What? Uh, no, sorry. The, the, I was going to say, what? Uh, the Germans have gotten 54,000 kills, and there's still 57,000 Americans left, and the Americans have killed almost 800,000 Germans at this point. That's crazy. That's crazy. My, my theory completely worked that this would just work out for the Americans as long as they managed to uh, hold the urban city. That, that was all they needed to do, and gosh dang it, they've been doing it really well. They're, they're back to it. They're, they're completely back to full charging <laughs> the center line in this death trap. The, the Americans are having the time of their lives right now. The time of their lives. E even the flanks are starting to fail. I mean, they were, they were cheeky little strats right off the bat, but I mean, now the Americans are on to them, and they're just gunning them down, baby. They are really gunning them down. <laughs> Germans are about to be at only 150,000 soldiers left. All right, the Germans are now at 100,000 soldiers. And I'm thinking because of that monumentous occasion, we should have some of the Americans here push out. I think we need them to push out, dude. I, I think it's essential. Um, just for fun. A little counterattack. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have them move out. Um, and we're going to have them, yeah, push out to the bridge, I suppose. And they're, they're going to have uh, quite the force, too. I mean, they've, they've got Shermans. They've got assault riflemen, and they're going up against a very weak Germany right now. So uh, I think they are very capable of doing this. And even if this does fail, they've still got all of these defenses back here. They're still perfectly fine. You know, this is not throwing the Americans at all. They've still got all sorts of soldiers in here. So even if this counterattack does end up failing, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It just really doesn't matter. This is for fun, you know. This entire game's for fun, you know. It shouldn't be taken too seriously. I see a lot of comments about, like, historical accuracy. Or even, like, you know, the total, like, uh, unfairness of the fact that, like, uh, certain things happen in the battle and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, this, this game's for fun. <laughs> like, let's relax a little bit. I think, uh, I think we might be taking the ultimate epic battle simulator a little too seriously. Either way, here we go. Americans pushing out. They've got their Shermans with them. Uh, they're doing some damage, but the Germans are holding them. I mean, they're holding them at the uh, dead body pile of Germans right now. By the way, this would make an amazing death tunnel video, this little stretch right here. I might have to do that in the future. That would be super fun, I think. Maybe a medieval death tunnel against like Roman soldiers or something? I don't know, dude. Could be kind of sick though. Uh, might have to give it a try. Might have to give that the old college try. Either way, yep, the uh, the Americans pushing forward. The Germans having some trouble keeping them at bay right now, uh, but they're they're doing it. You know, the the Americans are certainly getting a lot of kills, but the Germans are are certainly making it happen. Look at this. This looks so epic. Shermans in the back, U.S. soldiers in the front, a pile of corpses in front of them. It's it doesn't get much cooler than this. And the Shermans begin to fire as well, so it does get a little bit cooler because of the massive explosions striking against the German army below. Beautiful. By the way, are there still Germans back here? Yes, there are. Quite a number. And they're making more land bridges. You guys made a land bridge right here, and you're killing yourselves more over here. What are you doing? I am so disappointed. It is so sad. So many of the soldiers are dying because of stupidity. Actually, there are only 68,000 Germans remaining, still 48,000 Americans remaining. By the way, how's this flank doing over here? Uh, this flank over here has definitely dwindled for the Germans. They've come a little bit farther forward, though, and actually, they've cleared out a lot of these Americans now. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Uh, they've cleared out a lot of these Americans. I mean, there's still a bunch, and the Shermans over here, but, like, there's a ton of dead Americans around here. They... They actually did pretty good over here for the Germans. Not bad, not bad. How about the other flank over this way? Um, might not be as good. In fact, uh-oh. What is this? Oh, some of the Americans decided to push out this way. 
Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I guess this flank is completely dead for the Germans, but we can still see how they did. There's a lot of dead German bodies here, but yeah, they cleared out a decent amount of Americans. Not not a lot, but they, they definitely did okay over here. It's basically been a slaughter for the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, the Germans are, are seriously, seriously undergunned right now. Uh, they only have 34,000 soldiers left. They actually have less soldiers than the Americans do now. Yeah, kind of crazy. The Americans built their own trenches out of the dead bodies of the Germans. If that doesn't show you how alpha they're being right now, I don't know what does. <laughs> they are right now just showing up the entire world with their manliness, their pedigree, their, their proficiency at war. They woke the beast and they weren't ready to handle it. The Germans are basically done in for. There's just a few of them left and they're getting clobbered. Is there any uh, still over here? Eh, it's, a, it's a very light trickle in now. It's a very light trickle in. There's also still these Americans up here, and if they finish off the last of these Germans right here, uh, they'd be able to run a pretty sweet flank on the rest of the Germans over this way. I don't think it's going to happen. I think they'll be probably kept busy over there for quite a while, considering how many Germans are right there. Um, and it seems like the Germans are actually sniping out a good number of these Americans over this way. Uh, but that would be cool if it did end up happening again. Not totally sure if it will, though. Alright, the Germans are essentially done here. There's just some staggered boys around, and uh, the Shermans and the American soldiers are just dominating the last few of them. Uh, I really thought that the Germans had a solid chance of winning this, uh, and I thought it was going to be down to the wire for the Americans, but it didn't end up being that way at all. Uh, the Germans have lost a million soldiers, and uh, the Americans have uh, lost 65,500. Still a lot, but you know, still not not enough <laughs> either way guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below i'll see you on the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much